Okay, to set up a community in Facebook, there's a few things you're going to need. Of course, first thing you're going to need is to go and set up the group and request a group in Facebook. Then you're going to uh, need to add a image in the header. When you first set it up, it'll just have a blank square and it'll ask you to upload inside of the image area. I've already done that, but if you ever want to change the image that is in this area, then you just um, hover over it and you'll see the change group photo and that's where you can always change the header. The next part is you're going to need to add some descriptions, you're going to need to add some members, and you're going to add the people that are going to be uh, administrators to the group. So to add members, you come over here and you can just do the add members and do it by people's names or an email address. Um, but once you add the members, you want to go into the keeps doing that. Stop that. If you want to go into the members that you added, and then you can make them uh, admins. So if you're the person that created the group, then you're going to be over here by yourself. But over here, you um, can change their administration status. So if I remove this person as an admin. Um, it gives you it, it'll take you back to where it is so let's say this is a brand new person that I've added I want to make her an admin all you have to do is hit the gear button and do make admin it'll ask you to if you really want to confirm that and then boom that person now becomes an admin to your group so that's one of the next things you want to do now over here is the manage group and under that you can do some other group management stuff. You can schedule posts. Uh, you can answer all the requests that people have if they're requesting to join the group. Most of our groups are paid membership groups, so you have to verify that they are already paid or up to date before you allow them to become a member. Um, now, if I hit uh, edit group settings here, it'll bring me up most of the stuff that I want you to make sure we do so this right here this little image is gives you uh, what these little images will be in the sidebar this will be the name of the community the group type it has some set group types this one happens to be a support group most of ours will probably be support groups so you can just use that then you want to put in your description it can be pretty long um, it goes past this what you see here so you can keep typing all the way down see um, so put the descriptions in then you want to put tags in tags are things that will help people find the group they're similar to hashtags so uh, for this group we've got uh, self-help let's see what comes up uh, self-help group uh, uh, community and like those things that we're looking over here so we got career uh, let's see if it's got career here let's take career links finance since these are all the things this group is going to talk about health Are healthy well no I want health just period that says health there and that's the one I want relationships oh okay you only get five so let's take out community and put in relationships and also you want to get the one that has the most uh, views so this one's got like 8 million so let's take that one and what that's going to help Facebook do is when people are in a group that has some similar tags they'll show you may also like as a group uh, recommendation for people in other groups all right locations uh, this is not attached to any specific location so we don't want to worry about it web and email address this one is very important um, 
and this is where you tell it what group or what name the group is going to have in the toolbar all right so this group is the climber community so we put climber community and you'll see this change so that'll give it the customized address it's not available because I've already done it um, but what that ends up doing is making your group now www.facebook.com slash groups slash whatever it was we just put in so now climber community has its own unique URL all right uh, privacy settings we've already made this a private group um, or a closed group um, so that's what by default usually they will be unless I tell you it's an open group um, uh, where it says any member can add or approve members we don't want that we only want moderators to be able to approve membership so we want to change that there member request uh, learn about the people who want to join the group by asking questions we can ask some questions there um, I'm not going to do that for this group but that's where you would ask a couple of questions before they're allowed to request uh, membership um, who can post right now we'll let everybody be able to post but sometimes you know if people start spamming or things get out of hand we could change that to only admins can post and then finally uh, another level on top of that or under that really it's like all groups members can post but it requires moderation first so if you check that what is going to happen is people are going to be able to create their posts but it's going to go through an admin request process and once the admin says okay you can do it then uh, they will see it so but right now we can start where we're at with leaving it and let everybody just post so that's how to set up a Facebook community